me or, or if you're in your 20s and you have a child you wanted it like i just i have to know like i have to know are you guys out here having kids on friends welcome back to my channel and i'm really excited to come back in front of the camera in front of my phone my phone is now up and working and i'm just here to talk to you a bit about something i saw on tiktok that i appreciated the fact that she came and she asked the question but i believe that persons took the question out of context so let's get into it remember to continue liking my videos share subscribe if you have or if you haven't already subscribed tell your friends about it leave a comment and all that good stuff so let's get right into the video i'm gonna leave a clip on it i'm gonna it's like a reaction video to a tiktok so the question was she asked for persons in their early 20s were are we ready did are were we ready for a child and lots of persons are bashing her because like she said only did want it what is just the truth like I ask like I ask myself that question. I ask a lot of those questions when I see somebody struggling in a certain way. Sometimes we feel like say we're too big and bold and we don't feel ask some question. But the fact of the matter is, we just start life. We just a start life. You know, you're not even mature enough to have a child. So her asking that question was fair and was just her reason for she had her reasons for asking because I asked those questions. So bashing her wasn't the way to go. I'm not sure why Jamaicans took it so, you know. So I'm just here to show what she said and leave my two cents on it. And as well, I saw where Rushkam commented on it. And I appreciated his response so much because it was detailed and, you know, I liked his. I liked his response. So... I'm gonna share I'm gonna share them on the screen so you can be able to see and I'm gonna also um, go through some of the comments that persons have been leaving in which I, I don't really like some of the comments because I don't think she was bashing anybody she was just merely um, finding out when did you ready would you ready for a fitness I young would you ready would you ready financially emotionally and all allies a lot of us were not ready majority of us were not ready so let's get right into the video i hope you enjoy it it's just a little you know reaction so first i'm doing a reaction of something so let's see how it goes and i hope you enjoy it stay tuned what i'm gonna do i'm gonna play the clip i'm gonna play it on the screen so you can hear what she's saying her name is ton travels on tiktok you can go ahead and follow her she puts out a lot of fun content funny and all of that TikTok is all about fun and having fun and laughing and just being yourself. John, I'm 24 years old. I'm 24 years old. If you are younger than me or, or if you're in your 20s and you have a child, you wanted it? Like, I just, I have to know. Like, I have to know. Are you guys out here having kids on purpose? Is it like, no? Because, like, I'm still a child. I, I literally, I think like a 14 year old. And when I see you guys younger than me or like a year, I'm like, like deliberately, like, is this like, is, is this on purpose? Because like, everyone's like, when I talk to my friends about something, like, I don't think I want children, blah, blah, blah. They're always like, yeah, but like once you get pregnant or once you have a baby, it kicks in and stuff. Yeah, cool. That's awesome and everything. But like, I don't want to have to give up my life. Like we're 20. Have we lived there? Like, I just feel like having a child, there are just certain sacrifices that you guys, you guys have to grow up so quickly. And honestly, most of you guys aren't growing up. And so you're, you're thinking your childhood trauma onto the kids. Like, I need to know. Do you sit down and think of, I, I need to know. Like, no judgment, you know, no judgment. I just, like, I genuinely want to know. Like, the, like my brain is confused. There are just so many things I haven't done yet that I'm not willing to be like, no, I'm not going to jet off to Bali right now because this child is crying. Like, it's just not happening. There's no motherly connection that makes me feel like that's gonna be me i just i don't i just i don't like I, I persons in your 20s are you mentally ready we still have the mind of a child many of us many of us are forced to grow up based on our circumstances or the fact that we're the eldest child or we just have to be responsible enough you know, from an early age we've been taking care of our younger siblings and all of that but separate and apart from that are we ready mentally financially 
and all the alleys in the world you can think of because having a child it's 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 it, it's a lot sometimes a lot of persons may say it's not hard but i think it's a hard job it's a hard task and she asked a legitimate question and rushcam handled answered that question so well so so well and i'm gonna also share what he said on the screen so you can see that and i agree with him so much i take everything from what he said i take all of that and that's what i'm saying as well so you can just watch it it won't be a long video because you know it's just me sharing what i watched about Roshkam and and ton travel so you can legitimate question that deserves a legitimate answer from people who have had that legitimate experience like she out the bat said i think like a 14 year old so in her mind and in many people's minds it is unfathomable to factor in a child into their current lifestyle now it could be for whatever reason it could be privilege it could be because they're going to school it could be because they don't have the family structure it could be because at 20 you're not emotionally stable whatever it is the point is she doesn't understand and is seeking some clarification no I'm going to say, if we're being completely honest, and not even just like social media honest, but honest, IRL, we know that we cannot count, even on one hand, the number of people we know who are in their early 20s who have the mental stability, emotional support, financial support, family structure, and all those things to properly plan to bring a child into the world at this age. So, I mean, it is a legitimate question now, not saying that those people don't exist, but if you're one of those people and you wish to set, shed some light on the issue, please step forward. But I don't think an innocent question from No Shade to Tanya, someone who says she thinks like 14 years old, is intended to mean any harm. And I want to say to Jamaicans, don't take everything like that. Don't take it everything negative like somebody. Nobody now bash you off. You have been a child young. Nobody's doing that. She's just saying that when you didn't want it, like who didn't want Pitney at 20? Nobody. You just got here. You're not married. And most people always say they want married or have a child. So she never said nothing wrong for me to go and stuff. You didn't have to go and stuff. Simple enough to go and stuff. So I'm going to also, in the next clip, I'm going to also read some of the comments, or the, the negative comments, and some positive comments. Because not everybody was bashing what she said, but a lot of persons were. And I think they're taking it to, they're wrong, they're taking it wrong. She didn't ask, she didn't ask a bad question. It's actually a legitimate question, a question that needed to be asked. Were, did you want a child so young? Were you ready? I know I wasn't ready, but it happened and you have to grow up and you have to accept everything that comes with it. Some people have, a lot of people are support, have a very good support system, which is good. But having a child young is good because um, after you have them at a young age, you know that you have a lot more. If you, if you, if you change your mindset... You have a lot more to do in the longer run, you know, for yourself and go back to school and all of that. But some persons, them just go downhill from there. And it's just the truth. Some Jamaicans, we don't like the truth, but it's just the truth. Some people don't feel away, but some people have a child young and them just, instead of, instead of changing their mindset and moving, staying motivated, let the child motivate you them demotivated for whatever reason it could be the fact that you know they're never ready and you know they make it the best of them and they just got down from there while some persons they make it motivate them and them just push and push and push and them reach to the start and even pass people where don't have any kids and them reach so it can be good and for some persons it didn't work out well but having a child young it can scar you but i hope that person that get pregnant early they take it you know don't 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 feel like it's the end of the road it's not the end of the road it's not the end you can always you know use your child as a motivation to say you didn't acquire that when you were growing up so you want the best 
for your child and for yourself going forward so you're gonna push you're not gonna give up you're not gonna give in you're not gonna throw your toil you're gonna keep pushing and ensure that you give them the best give them the best people out there at the top because that's how jamaicans are but our people overall that's how people are so instead of um watching what people have to say negatively because people love when you go down like i don't know why them find all the joy in that but they love when you're going down so instead of them seeing you go down just shoot for the stars just aim for the stars keep pushing you got this sis don't give up having a child young you still have time you still have time you can grow together as brothers and as a brother and sister or sisters you know just yeah and you just be be a good mommy and ensure that you don't go to parties and leave them at home alone and all of that be the best mom you can be the lady didn't turn trouble she didn't say anything but she just asked you would you want it really and truly it would never ready but it happens and we do have to make the best of our situations so now i'm gonna go through reading some of the comments i'm not gonna read all of them because i want this video to be about 10 minutes i don't want it to be a long video so enough of me chatting 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 let's go through some of the comments first of all when you're asking questions like this you gotta think about what you're about to say before you say it because a lot of mothers out there that got kids unintentionally in their teens are gonna see your video and take it quite personal I don't think you started out on the right note for which the note you started on I'm gonna react to it what the fuck do you care what you care some of them get raped some of them never have a nose of them breed some not believe in abortion, but what the fuck do you care? Why you not skin out your pum pum and breed too? I feel like feel I like understand where you come from. You sound like one bag of crosses. Just your body language and your tone and your question is like... Well... Fuck you. Hey guys, so um, I wanted to come back to you to close out the video to tell you thank you so much for watching if you got to the end of the video thank you so much for watching and leave your two cents below tell me what you think about the question that that ton travels asked and tell me what you think about rush cam's response also i pinned um i left the voice of a negative response in there tell me what you think about that response as well and just let me know what you think I would appreciate I, I really love what reading the comments and I haven't been getting much but I would love for you guys to just comment and tell me what you think let's interact in the comments don't forget to like my videos subscribe if you haven't already subscribed leave a comment and let's hope that we get an awesome video for the next one I plan doing something really fun and I sh I'm sure that you, you don't want to miss it so I love you guys so much Continue to support your girl and stay safe. Peace.